every day got better. Every day we renewed our love. And I knew how much he loved me, how much he loved those babies. With tears streaming down her face, Regina Crane courageously stood before thousands of people on Wednesday at Grove Community Church and spoke about her beloved husband, Riverside Police Officer Michael Crane. She talked about how much she will miss their Sunday mornings together. Every Sunday morning I made breakfast. He liked his breakfast. He liked food. <laughs> Let's all be honest. He loved chocolate. <laughs> He loved ice cream, and he loved his hash browns in the morning. He wanted his bacon and eggs, but the hash browns were the most important. Family, friends, and fellow police officers from all over California and beyond gathered to say goodbye to Officer Crane, who authorities say was killed on duty Thursday, February 7th, by ex-Los Angeles police officer Christopher Dorner. People lined the streets of Riverside early Wednesday to pay their respects as a procession escorted the hearse from the funeral home to the church. Many holding flags and signs expressing support for the Riverside Police Department. You're just so grateful for everything that the police do for you. I mean, in the minute something happens, they're the first people that you call and they don't hesitate to come and, and take care of you. So when something like this happens, something tragic like this happens, you want to show your support for them. Outside the church was a jumbo video screen where mourners sat and watched the service. On the far side of the sky, the first thing that I'm gonna do is spread my wings and fly. Riverside Police Chief Sergio Diaz directed most of his message toward Crane's two children, 10-year-old Ian and 4-year-old Caitlin. If you don't remember anything, Elsa, we tell you about your dad. Remember this. You were the light of his life. Everyone that I've talked to repeated to me that Mike Crane was above all else a family man. He never stopped talking about you. All his hopes and dreams were about his children. He'll be watching you grow up, and he'll be watching us help you. The 90-minute service ended with a photo slideshow with music from Flogging Molly, Jimi Hendrix, Eric Clapton, Miranda Lambert, and Leonard Skinner. So when in doubt, just call my name. Just before you go insane. The hearse carrying Crane's coffin along with a line of police cars with lights and sirens, followed and made their way to Riverside National Cemetery, where Crane was laid to rest. For the Press Enterprise and PE.com, I'm Jackie West.